All right, guys, so today is the day. I'm really excited to share my military man cave with you. Uh, I know a lot of y'all have been waiting for several weeks for this video, and, um, you know, I appreciate your patience and everything and all your support. Um, you know, I've been working on this thing for about four or five weeks or so. Uh, most of you guys know I just moved about seven weeks ago, so I've been trying to get moved in and everything, but uh, I'm really proud of how the room turned out. And honestly, it's not 100% done. You know, it's almost there, but I figured it's far enough along to go ahead and show you guys how it looks as of now, which you guys also know I'm going to continue to buy and add to my collection. And so, you know, from time to time, I might move things around. But anyways, uh, it's really awesome, and I'm really excited to show you. So let's do this. Okay, so just on the other side of this door is my man cave. Really excited. To show you what's behind this door so let's go like i said i've been working on this about four or five weeks and it's mostly you know done but um here it is like i said i know a lot of you've been waiting to see this and uh, i appreciate your patience as most of you guys know i'm a helmet freak i've got 97 as of right now which you know what you see right here these are all my world war ii helmets Starting up in this top corner here With my you know my earliest right up there down to You know around the end of the war and then I got flat helmets off to the side and uh, Also like canteens You guys can tell I've got I don't know. I got over 40 canteens and um You know it's taken I've been collecting about eight years now So it's taken you know a while to accumulate all this as most of you know who have collections of your own and, uh, you know, I've been on a lot of road trips, antique stores, flea markets, gun shows, sales, you name it. Uh, that's one of my favorite photos right there, the beach landing. And, you know, I've got some of my newer helmets, you know, Kevlar, and it kind of goes into the 80s, 70s, you know, Vietnam era. And it kind of spins all the way around the room here into World War I, World War II, uh, British helmets and uh, American helmets. See, I got a blank spot up there, which that means I need to add another helmet or two, but another thing most of you guys know, I like American flags. I've got them all over the place in here. I just love American flags. I you see this one, the 48 star flag, and um, this right here is kind of like a, a memorial type thing to my grandfather. For those of you who don't know, my grandfather was a Marine. Uh, he was actually in the Korean War. He served from 48 to 52. Uh, he fought at the Battle of the Chosen Reservoir. He's one of the Frozen Chosen. And uh, these are pictures of him, you know. And I'm really excited to uh, be able to have them up in this room. And this is actually my grandfather here. That's the smaller photo. And I actually took it to CVS. And they blew it up and made it larger for three bucks. That's one of my favorite photos of him right there. Got his discharge uh, papers from the Marine Corps, which is really cool. And uh, that's not his fold American flag. That's just one I, I found and put together for him. And uh, see, these are my, my war movies. I've got over 400. And uh, down at the bottom, I got VHSs, which some of the VHSs they never made into DVDs. And some of them are, you know, somewhat, I guess, rare out of print. So glad to have those. Um, see, I got my uniforms here. And you see, uh, I got this fixture here I made. I actually uh, made it out of pipe from work. You know, I bought it and uh, designed it, pieced it together, and attached it to the studs, and it worked out really well. As you can see up under that board there, see it's, they're attached to the stud, but I got, uh, you know, World War I, the Marine Dress Blues, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, you know, Navy stuff, and um, really cool and glad how that turned out. Uh, I got some of my different packs and bags and stuff up here, but like I said, I'll probably be moving some stuff around, you know. Um, but as of right now, this is how I've got it set up, but, you know, some different hats and stuff there. And then you already saw, I'm sure, my cartridge belts and pistol belts and stuff. Got more, actually, uh, some more stuff here on the floor. Like I said, there's a few more canteens and stuff there. And, uh, these trunks are full, which the trunk underneath here is, uh, just full of books. But, uh, the one underneath there is full of all kind of gear and stuff. Um, just don't have enough room right now to display it all like I want it, but I'm working on it And uh, you know, this is my ammo and stuff for my guns Most of you guys watch my videos know I've got several mil serves love to shoot them collect them And there's my gun safe with my guns in there. I've got a 
you know, some several videos of my collection uh, out there. I might make an updated one before long. But, um, Japanese flag, another flag behind the door. See another flag draped across here. Um, see, flag, they're just everywhere. That's another favorite photo of mine, the flag raising on Iwo Jima, Mount Suribachi. And a couple pillow shams. And uh, you can actually see here, uh, this right here and that are actually, you know, my grandfather's also. Um, like I said, I wish I had uh, a chance to meet him, but those you don't know, he actually passed away in 1988. I was about two and a half years old when he died. So I only know him through, you know, photos and stories from from family members. But um, I really wish I could have had, you know, a relationship with him. This is my display case here. See, I got my bayonets in the bottom. Got some purple hearts, um, mess kits, binoculars, and then I'm a big ordnance collector. I got 50 caliber, 20 millimeter, um, and just some oddball stuff off to the side there. And I uh, see I got some random cartridges there. But check this out. Give me just a second. I've actually there we go. I got a light set up in here, and I think it makes it look really cool. You know, because uh, it can be hard to see even with the overhead light on, but without the light inside the case. It's a bunch of really neat stuff I've picked up over the years. Like I said, I've been collecting hardcore about eight years now. Before that, I had a little bit of stuff, you know, but um, I'm really, you know, blessed, you know, and, and grateful. I've been able to acquire all of this stuff over the years. You see, these are my books, which this is only probably like a third of the books that I have. You know, I've got probably like 40 books I haven't even read, but um, Folded American Flag. I always liked this uh, ammo crate right there. It's empty, but it's still cool for the uh, Mark 7 303 rounds. This really neat thing right here. I got this probably about four or five years ago, and it reminded me of my son, which he's nine now. At the time, he was about... I don't know, four or five or so. It reminded me of him. He liked to wear my helmets and different things. Jerry cans. Uh, Spanish-American War era pack there. Just some random stuff right in here. You know, I got a cot. Um, got some M1 carbine stocks and just different things. Got a um, a prop or, you know, training M16 rifles. Not real. But this right here is my World War II buddy. Um, he's 96 years old. And I uh, visit him from time to time. I'm on vacation next week, so I plan on going to visit him again and spend some time with him. We have a good time. We're buddies. Um, you know, and really, what you see in this room here, this is most of my collection. I'm going to go ahead and turn this light off. There's a little bit of a glare. Well, um, this is, like I said, most of my collection. Um, probably about 98%. I've got a little bit of other stuff, like I said, I just don't have room for right now. But um, uh, I'll make room for it, you know. These are, uh, I know there's a glare, but some of my medals, dog tags, and random pins, patches. Another folded American flag. Got my double buckle combat boots. Got three sets of those. And my other uh, shoes right there. And then uh, a couple of records. You know, I've always liked the, the look of this one right here from the longest day. Like I said, again, I'm a helmet person. Platoon's one of my favorite war movies. Uh, got a really nice ammo chest right there but um really guys that's about it you know i don't make this too lengthy of a video but um like i said i know you've been waiting and so this is it most of you guys know my favorite uh era to collect is world war ii um i do like world war one also but uh, not just a lot you know after world war ii i do have some korea and vietnam stuff but but this is it as of now um been working hard on it you know and um i think it looks good i look forward to you know uh interacting with you guys reading your comments and i would appreciate if you guys would like this video and please share it and uh if you haven't already if you're just now watching my channel please watch more of my videos uh you know i try to share my collection and, and do videos where i can give information on you know different things and tips and advice i do shooting videos and whenever i add new things to my collection i I make videos of that also, and I would really appreciate it if you guys would subscribe to me, and I look forward to seeing your collection and watching your channels also. But anyways, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll be getting back to you soon, so stay tuned.